Hey everyone, it's Curly Cuba Minikin bringing you a different type of video. I know I say that all the time, but this video is truly different from all the other videos that I've done so far here on YouTube. This is actually a slideshow, and these photos are from the last three years of my life because this is my anniversary video. I am three years natural. So these photos basically show you what I've been up to when it comes to my hair for the last three years. Now that very first photo that you saw was actually when I decided I was done with the transitioning process. I have very little patience. And I chopped off what was left of my relaxed or straightened hair pieces. So for a little bit of background history, for those of you who don't know, this is my second time around on the natural scene. The first time around, I decided to stop using chemicals because at the time I was about to be a stay-at-home mom, which didn't last. I have to get out of the house. But spending that extra money at the salon felt excessive, so I stopped and became addicted to wigs. <laughs> I wore my natural hair straightened and wrapped under the wigs, and it basically turned into a habit. I can't tell you how many wigs I literally threw away once I decided I was done with them. So people were actually shocked to discover that I wasn't bald. And I still wasn't satisfied. You know, I tried, you know, still doing the old school, you know, wash it, condition it, blow dry it, straighten it, wrap it. But it just wasn't enough. I was really determined to wear my hair bone straight, which where I live, that type of weather just doesn't give. So I gave in and I went back to the salon, back to the creamy crack. Now, let me tell you something. From the moment the stylist began to apply the relaxer, I instantly regretted my decision and basically grew it out from that very same day. So the first time I went natural, I, chop, I big chopped, which is different. I don't know too many people personally that big chopped on their first time around. Now this time I transitioned, so I've had the experience from both ends of the spectrum. I'm not going to tell anybody you should big chop, and I'm not going to tell anybody that they should transition because it is a personal decision. Um, basically, as far as my routines or practices, I try to moisturize my hair as often as possible. Water is not the enemy, contrary to what we've been taught. Um, I do limit how much heat I use as far as blow dryers and flat irons. I actually have not flat ironed my hair in these last three years. Um... Let's see, what else can I think of? I do utilize steam. I do steam my hair. I try to seal my hair as often as possible to keep the moisture in there. I do co-wash more than I do shampoo. I do still shampoo, though. Coconut oil is like a major staple for me. And not just for my hair. I actually use it for my skin as well. My bad habits include, because we all have them, I don't trim my hair as often as I should. So I need to work on that. Now, don't always go hard with the detangling. So I know that's not a good thing. So I'm going to try to work on that. But the very best thing about natural hair is its versatility. Now, this is for me. This may not apply to somebody else. But the versatility, I can do flat twist outs, twist outs, braid outs, um updos, uh, which I showed a few of those in there, curl formers. I don't really straighten my hair too much because I'm really scared of heat damage. So I've only actually blow dried my hair once in this entire thing. Um, the only problem I really have now is I can't always get my hair under a shower cap, but I'm going to correct that one day. But the main thing is the versatility and then my confidence. Not that I wasn't confident when my hair was relaxed or even when I cut my hair really, really short because I shocked the world when I was about 17 and cut my hair off and didn't think about it. Like a lot of people were more upset with me than my family. And this time around, it's not about what they like. It's about what I like. I don't take the time to seek the approvals of others when it comes to my hair. I get just as many compliments now as a natural that I don't hear nor entertain the negativity about my natural hair. It's about being true to myself. And for me, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!